Oh, what a day. What's happening, Facebook? Now, doing a quick video, just to let you all know about the update. Burn on Trent Council, Trent under Staffordshire, and the MP Andrew Griffin. So, um, yeah, where do I start? Where do I begin? Okay, just to let you all know, I want to thank you all for your support. I want to thank every one of you that shared the video, posted it, announced others, warned others, and warned Burton on Trent Council, um, Staffordshire. And everyone else that the videos is being heard and being alerted. Now um, I get to the chase. Basically, uh, my last video that the coward MP Andrew Griffin made out he was helping, and still not heard anything from him. Um, uh, Brett and Rachel will be held responsible for me and my son. That was mentioned on the last video, and that uh, Brett and Alison from the council managers. Remember now, Alison is no longer working there due to my videos and everything else. She ended up getting sacked, but Brett still works there, and he ended up getting someone else to work along with him called Rachel, and he used her to fucking buy strings that she couldn't phone me, talk to me on her own and all the rest of this shit and very close probably shag buddies but anyway um, Rachel wasn't allowed to communicate with me without Brett being around and she never did communicate at the end, she never phoned me or anything so her and Brett would have been held and will be held responsible for anything that happens to me and my son. Now Brett and Alison last time said that it was alright for a father and a son to sleep together in a bed and it was in a one bed B&B but it wasn't a B&B, it was a pub, it looked like a prison. Um, also was allowed to sleep on the streets, it was safe. So this is Burton on Trent, Trent on Durf Council. Brett and Rachel and Alison. Now, <laughs> Brett still works there and he's refusing contacts and trying to give me updates on my case. Now, just to let you all know, um, my last video stated that he was trying to ban me and get me permanently banned due to I made a threat, but it weren't a threat, that I would do squatters' rights in the car park at the council if it was alright for me and my son to sleep on the street so we thought we could do squats rides in the car parts. We didn't do it, we just said it. He put it down on my records now that I've made a threat. And then I made phone calls to him to set dates and times. He wouldn't answer the calls. The receptionists were taking on messages and now he's put it down that I was harassing them. And he's got it down as a harassment charge. Now um this video is just a quick one just to let you all know that Brett from Trent on Durf Council housing team manager he uh, basically is saying now that um, he's going to block my number so I can't call the council no more to find out any information or talk to any of his staff no more um, he will be deleting my account and that I no longer assist on anywhere in Staffordshire council so yeah I thought I'll get this video out there now I'm still not allowed to speak to Rachel Rachel's still not allowed to speak to me because Brett is so paranoid that he thinks I'm going to talk about him uh, the meeting still not going to be happening because they're refusing it like always um, the whole point of the meeting was to say why have you offered me five properties took them off me, made me homeless and saying it's all for me and my son to sleep on the streets or share a bed. They don't want to answer the questions, they don't want to fight my case, they don't want to help me and a son. So we ended up getting the papers involved, newspapers, burnt and mail. The lady he was dealing with the case or Gil was called Beth. Um, I won't say their second names, I know them, I've even got their Facebook pages and Instagram and all that and I've got screenshots of all of it and emails now but I won't announce it over social media just yet um, the girl from Burton Mail was Beth 
she was going to put in the newspaper, but her boss told her not to do it. So I'm guessing something's been said or they've been paid not to make them look bad. Um, so they've closed the case now, Burton Mail has. Because it was going to courts and solicitors, they also said they couldn't do so much because it was court proceedings were going on. Um, still not heard nothing from the courts, still not heard nothing about my case where I stand on all this. So I have no idea what's going on. So I ended up taking the next step, got the MP involved, Andrew Griffin. You all know Andrew Griffin, especially you women out there. And um, Andrew Griffin made out the MP from Burn on Trent, made out he was helping. I've left messages and messages with Caroline, who is the receptionist that passes message on to the MP. I've been leaving 16 voicemails, not in one day, but in the period, and no phone calls. I finally do get hold of Caroline and leave past messages on. Last thing she says, she'll get this meeting forward and that she'll basically demand the meeting to happen with me, Brett, and the council to find out why and give me my answers, basically. Still not heard nothing. Then I put a video up about Angie Griffin saying, if I was a female, would you take things further? Um, an announcement got put out about Angie Griffin, about what he's been doing texting girls, women, this, that, same things, and it's like a big explosion. Now, <laughs> Andrew Griffin still ain't got back to me, so now I've got a nice little message for Andrew Griffin now. If I wore a tight leggings around my ass, and, you know, you already had my number, and you text me dirty messages and I put a blonde wig on. Would you make me your top priority then? I just want to know, you know. So basically, if I was a female, would you make me your top priority? Um, mini skirt, leggings, nice and tight, you know, pushed up bra. Because um, it sounds like that's what you do, mate. And it sounds like to me you would help people like that but now it backfired on you see if you fighted people's cases for them and stand for what you do MP what they meant to do and stand for your town country and everything else and burden on Trent you won't be where you are today so my answer if you'll give me an answer or <laughs> If I had tight leggings and a skirt, pushed up bra, would you put me your top priority? Um, as for Brett and Rachel, you both still will be held responsible if anything happens to me and my son. So I thought I'd do this quick video to let you all know now that Burton on Trent, Staffordshire, Trent on Durf, Staffordshire, Burton on Trent Council have refused and ban me permanently, like I said on my last video. This time they've blocked my number, they've blocked my emails, they have no rights to communicate with me now due to my videos as ambush social media. They've also banned me for a one star rate every time I write on their wall on Facebook, Twitter, or anything like that, they take it down. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I don't know where to go from here, but hey ho, I still got my videos. I can still let ever other people know what's been going on and alert other people. So if you're in Burn on Trent Council and you have Brett, Rachel, or they throw you that way to Brett, please do not work with him. He will do everything to fuck you over and make you homeless for no reasons and can't answer or arrange meetings when you fly out, so heads up. But as for Andrew Griffin, make sure you get back to me if you're watching this video, mate. Um, you know, because it sounds like you're a coward and always the state that on my last videos that you're a coward and you should be ashamed to run that town.
you can't even fight your cases you can't even fight other people's cases you can't even help them um, and for you to allow actually not allow for you for not helping and for me and my son well I understand it all now because there weren't a female at present um, and you can take it how you want to take this video but that's how it is and that's how I'm seeing it so and I hope you get removed as an MP um, as for Brett and Rachel you could ban, block, delete, do what you gotta do end of the day my video is out there now and things will get said, things will be said and I will get my answers one day and that's the only reason why you won't do the meeting because you know that you can't answer my questions now if most of you just tuned in and watching this video and you don't know what's going on make sure you follow me on my DJ Toxic page as most of you know around Burton on Trent and other towns that I'm a DJ and a photographer and um, yeah watch my other videos click on DJ Toxic or type it in on Facebook Twitter everywhere I'm everywhere and um, yeah and go to Burton on Trent Staffordshire on my videos and um, name and shame Trent on Duff Council so and you'll see the six videos that have been ambushed about certain people that used to work there no longer work there and the new managers and the new people that are dealing with my case so after this video I don't know if I'll do another one uh, due to Brett the coward um, controlling Rachel and Rachel won't contact me because she's being controlled and Brett's holding it on the leash telling her what to do and not to do answer the questions, don't answer it because we've done wrong but we don't know how to cover it we need to find a way of covering it now and at the minute they're getting me done for harassment for basically ringing up setting a date <laughs> I don't know how that works but yeah and um, getting me done for threatening behaviour saying that I do squatters rights in the car park because you've made me and my son homeless but yet Brett and Alison the old manager Alison she got sacked because of my last video and um, said it was alright for me and my son to share a bed or <laughs> sleep on the streets so yeah, so I thought I'd do this video to let you all know that I tried to ring them today, last week, and I've not given up. Um, so there's no more videos being made at the minute, but I will still keep you updated. Um, basically, they're refusing to cooperate with me, and Brett's telling the receptionist now just to put the phone down on me, do not reply back to him, or just say, Brett has told us to tell you he's blocking your number and emails and deleting your account <sighs> all funny games all funny games but hey ho turn that frown upside down you know there might be light somewhere at the end of the tunnel we just need to get better MPs and better people in these jobs and get rid of these fucking assholes so yeah so Brett and Rachel still be held responsible for no matter what happens. Um, like my dad always says, you always get the shit before the shovel, and that's what they are. And um, yeah, so I hope Brett and Rachel watches all my videos. Hope they enjoy it. Thumbs up, likes, love hearts, share. Make sure you share the rest of my videos. Now, to all the supporters out there that have been following me, big respect. Thank you very much. Um, thank you for sharing the videos, alerting other people in Burn on Trent, Staffordshire, uh, what cowards people are and how people are backstabbers and basically try and destroy a family. Um, also, as for the MP Andrew Griffin, like I said, mate, make sure you don't be a coward. Make sure you reply back to me on this video. Um, if I had tight leggings and a skirt, you know. Would you put me your top priority then? So, yeah. I can't be fucking, you know, sexy. I don't know why. It must be a male thing, but I don't know. 
I have to ask Andrew Griffin how he does it. But yeah, so make sure you reply back to this video, Andrew Griffin. Um, hashtag coward. You should be ashamed of the town you run and how you treated people. Um, but other than that, yeah, I don't know what to say. I think it's funny in a way, but also angry in the other stage. But I don't think my case will ever get solved. You know, I've asked the newspapers to come forward. I've asked everyone to do things. So the only way I could do it now is to do this. So it's either they're being paid, and because it's the government and all the rest of it, there's always keep your mouth shut. And what I mean by that is money. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. So, but the main part of the video is Andrew Griffin about the leg and the skirt pushed up bra. Would he put me his top priority? As for Brett and Rachel still being controlled by Brett, she is, bless her. Um, can't talk to me or nothing, give me answers. Uh, Brett's still not giving me answers, but now he has told me to, today and his staff that they're going to block my number so I can't contact them no more and that I'm permanently banned across Staffordshire, Burn on Trent housing, so I can't feel anything for uh, probably a year or so, but hey ho. There's always other people in other places. But, you know, they've just made themselves even worse. So, you know, and they could use the threats, violence and harassment and try and twist it back on me. The difference is I've got proof and I've got evidence and my phone calls are recorded and my emails I still have. So, and as for Burton Mail, I'd love to know how much they paid you for not to put it in the newspapers. But yet, a few years back, the same situation, when I was fighting the case at the beginning, you guys couldn't wait to stick it in the newspapers. But now all of a sudden, Beth told me it was going in the newspapers, she's the one who was dealing with the case, but then her boss got involved and said no, enough's enough. And that only happened since the MP tried to get involved. But, hey ho, she's a female. If Andrew Griffin didn't offer money or Brett, I'm going to offer something else. <laughs> but hey yo, this video probably won't last a month, so due to what I've been saying, but sue me, take a house off me. Anyway, oh I forgot, I'm homeless. Um, yeah, come on guys, make sure you share the video, like it, thumbs up, heart, share. Uh, we need to get a new MP, we need someone who cares about Burton on Trent, we need someone who will stand up for Burton on Trent, the people that who's had problems with, you know, these people, the shit bags, and get them out of our jobs, get them away, from, and basically help us. That's all we're asking for, you know, and especially for someone who works and wears a badge and tie, and that's the MP and the council to say it's right for 11-year-old to sleep on the streets with his father. And it's alright for uh, if we get you a and b but it wasn't a and b as you will see on my la other videos. It was a pub, and the pub looked like a prison, and I had to share a bed with my son. I ain't doing that, no chance. Social workers and everything will be on my fucking case nets, and that's what they tried to do. In my eyes, that's what they were trying to do. And, lucky enough, my head on my shoulder and my brain's working and yeah for what you did to me and my son man you're going to pay the price and you can take it how you want to take it and if people can't stand up and say their point well the town's going to crumble so um, I appreciate if anyone is watching this and they shared it thank you very much and supporting me I appreciate it Thank you to them.